action. In this video I want to talk about reducing checkout friction by reducing the number of fields that are presented by WooCommerce when you check out. My name is Neil Matthews and I'm the owner of WooAce.com. So what is checkout friction? It's at the point of checkout where somebody comes to fill in the form to actually get the card out, put the name and address in, etc. And people come across fields in that checkout form and ask, why are you asking for that? Why do they want my phone number? Why are they forcing me to add my phone number into this checkout? Are they going to be calling me all the time? Are these salespeople going to be annoying me? It's that amount of checkout friction where people say, no, I'm just going to abandon my cart and not check out. So the whole point of removing that checkout friction is to increase the number of sales and improve the bottom line of your store. We do that by removing all unnecessary fields on our checkout form. Action. So as I said, we remove unnecessary fields at checkout. So we remove all unwanted fields. So if we're selling directly to consumers, we don't need to ask for a company name or address. And then we're not gonna force people to fill in fields by making them required. It's back to my previous example. If you fill in the checkout and it's a required field to enter your phone number, you're gonna think, why do they want that? Why are they forcing me to give my phone number? Are they gonna be phoning me all the time? Are they gonna be bugging me after this initial purchase? Anything like that that stops checkout creates friction we need to remove. We'll do that by adding a code snippet to remove the fields and make checkout as smooth as possible. So I'm gonna jump over and give you a demo. I'm gonna show you the field list that's available to WooCommerce. Then I'm gonna add code snippet to remove those fields. Below this video, you'll see a link to another video where I show you exactly how to use the plugin code snippets to add these snippets in. I'm also gonna remove the ship to address. So in this hypothetical scenario, we're selling direct to consumers and we'll sell and we'll ship direct to their billing address. So we don't want a shipping address in this example. Let's jump over now and I'll give you the demo. So here we are at my development store. At my store, we spell, we sell badly spelled awesome widgets and a little abandoned cart because that's what will happen if you don't reduce friction on your checkout. So we're gonna add to cart. Let's go to the cart and then to the checkout. So here's my carts, one product, and let's go to the checkout. So let's just go through this form. Um, I'm saying in this demo, directly you can see you need to come in. So that's just one more thing that needs to be filled in. Uh, I don't need anybody's phone number. I don't want to ship to a different address, so I'm gonna get rid of that entirely. And I'm not interested in those order notes. So let's have a quick look at the various fields that are we can edit in our WooCommerce store. So I've left a link to this page below this video, but essentially we have a series of billing fields. So billing phone, for example, we don't want. Billing company, we don't want. We can get rid of shipping entirely but I'll show you a way we can disable ship to a different address in the back end rather than writing code. And the last thing we don't want is the order comments. So let me show you the little snippet we're gonna to add to our site. Here it is. Um, what we can do is fill out the WooCommerce checkout fields. We're gonna unset the billing, billing company. We're gonna unset the billing billing phone number, and lastly, unset the order order comments. So what we need to do is cut and paste this into the code snippets plugin. I've created another video all about editing and creating code snippets, and it's linked below this video, so I won't go into the details of how to add this at the moment. So let's jump over to the back end of my site. So I'm gonna add a new snippet. Give it a name, move checkout fields. 
drop in that bit of code, give it a description. And then activate that code snippet. And back out and refresh. You see my name's gone. The order details or order notes and telephone number. It can be as brutal or light as you want. So for example, if you're just selling virtual products, you can get rid of all these shields you don't need. Any. Um let's click on rid of ship to a different address now. Again, let's jump over to the back end of our site. So we've gone to the WooCommerce settings area, if we go to shipping, and then shipping options. What we can do is fall into the customer address. So it's back to checkout, refresh. And then if we look to the bottom, we can see that, that the additional address toggle box is gone. So we've reduced those fields by removing alter. There's still a bit of work to remove that there. Additional information. Let me show you how to do that. So I've gone back to my code snippet and I'm going to drop in another little bit of code, which is another filter just returns false for the field notes. So that's saying don't show the field notes. So we save that, and go back to our checkout. And there you see, all there. So, just check out for it's proven increase in the number of times more the ASMA more likely are to a ban and just go to the checkout process. If they're worried about the purse, any little bit of friction will push them over the edge and make them abandon their cart. So what can WooCommerce do for you? We offer ongoing support plans for WooCommerce store owners. When you sign up with us, we'll give you limited support requests. So you could ask us to reduce friction on your checkout, for example. We'll do daily full backups of your WooCommerce store and store them securely offsite. If you need us to, we'll obviously restore and recover that, that archive. We'll do updates to software. So that includes WordPress core, all your plugins, your theme files. If there's anything that needs to be updated in your hosting, such as database versions or PHP versions, we'll do that. We'll monitor for uptime and security issues. So we put automatic monitors in place that look for any vulnerabilities on your site or if your site crashes, then we'll step in and get you back online. We'll send you a weekly report of all work done and the outcome of your WooA support plan is peace of mind. Peace of mind, you've got a team of developers looking after your site to step in if ever there isn't an issue. So I'd like to offer you a 15 day free trial of our service to test it. Like I said, you can ask us to uh, reduce friction on your checkout. That's free for 15 days. Normal price is $99 a month per site. I look forward to working with you. Cut.